Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another video for you guys. This is going to be specifically about the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction in Aquarius and how that's going to affect your sign, Taurus. Uh, now the best way of describing this major global transformation that we're going into, um, Jupiter and Saturn are the biggest planets, um, they're the biggest planets aside from the sun. So it takes roughly about 20 to 30 years for it to go into every single sign uh, of the zodiac. Now, when we're talking about the conjunction that is happening on December the 21st, um, it takes about 200 years for Jupiter and Saturn to conjunct in a different, go into a different element, a different uh, element in regards to um, earth, fire, uh, water families. Uh, so the best way of saying it as an example is um, when we look back into history, when Jupiter and Saturn were in conjunction in the element of water, which is Cancer, uh, Pisces, uh, Scorpio, um, we had a major explosion of the Renaissance, which is all to do with um, painting, with poetry, with uh, people really tapping into the imagination, uh, really tapping into the, their emotions. Uh, and of course, back then, a lot of people were traveling by boat. So there was no other way of commuting other than through water. Um, so then we forward to the fire element when Jupiter and Saturn were in conjunction uh, in the fire element. Uh, that's when we experienced a lot of wars, a lot of taking ownership or property through force through aggression. Uh, that's when we were dealing with wars. That's when we dealt with colonization. Uh, then we move forward into the element of earth. That's where it's been placed the past 20 years. Uh, that's where we had this major booming of the pretty much um, uh, the building, right? The earth energy is all about building and its natural resources. Uh, that's when we, you know, got into the rat race and the uh, chasing of growth and financial stability through financial power. Um, and of course, we've seen the shadow side of that the last couple of months. Um, so finally, after 200 years, it is, re it is removing itself from the element of Earth, which at the moment it's been sitting in the sign of Capricorn. So Saturn and Jupiter are going into Aquarius. This is a new era. This is the Aquarian era. This is the element of air. So we haven't gone through that transition of changing elements in the past 200 years. So from the 1800s up until now, uh, it has been in all the earth family uh, elements. And so now we're going into, like I said, air, uh, which is the Aquarian era, all to do with expansion, explosive uh, major findings in regards to science, in regards to the future, in regards to uh, being ahead or looking towards the future. After this chaos that we've been experiencing lately, uh, there is a healing energy that we're going to be entering for January 2021. Um, and like I said, a lot of transformative energy, a lot of people changing careers, others working uh, the nine to five, going into like running their own business or uh, working from home, uh, that is Aquarian type of energy. So how is this going to impact you, Taurus? Uh, we've had we've had this conjunction in your 10th house, uh, which is all to do with career and uh, expansion and growth, of course, with Saturn uh, through hard work and determination and focus. Uh, Jupiter will assist and bless you with opportunities. Uh, you didn't even know we're there or you didn't even know we're possible. Uh, like I said, major transformation in regards to career. So for some of you guys changing career, for others of you getting into um, getting into other fields or other ways of making money uh, that may be as it, it may start off as a hobby. It may start off as something that let's just test the waters and you come out really blown away that you find that this is a passion or this is something you're very focused or very you're very much into uh, and that's where we have the career change or the career change path for some of you guys uh, change in the way you view the outside world seeing life from a different perspective Venus and Mercury in your eighth house as well 
what does this mean? Uh, this is intuition. This is all to do with secrecy or finding secrets or seeing people's hidden sides. Um, this has a lot to do as well as with uh, placement in partners. You may experience financial opportunities that come in in connection to your partnership, in connection to your wife, to your husband. Uh, the eighth house is all about shared finances or shared income. Uh, this comes through partnerships. This comes through uh, business partnerships as well as romance. Uh, this is where uh, you start to see that your partner starts to elevate or starts to grow within their field or where, the, way, where their career is at. It starts to expand. Um, so very positive uh, expansion there. Uh, now we have Saturn. Uh, it's very well placed. Uh, it brings financial success uh, if remained focused. Very important for you guys. Uh, and putting that hard work. Saturn is all about, you know, it's the father figure uh, as well as father time. That's what it's known for. So some of you guys may be feeling like uh, you just don't have enough hours in the day. Others of you, you may start to feel like you're really, you know, it's like a pressure cooker. But I think it's a positive thing because it's bringing you to step into the new you, Taurus. It's bringing you into becoming more confident and believing in yourself. And uh, pretty much like laser focus is going to be very important for you guys for this coming 2021. Uh, you may experience the desire to help others as well. Um, this enriches, enriches your soul uh, as well as enhances your intuition. Uh, become more savvy in making money decisions and to create more money with partner or partners in business in a business sense. Um, for some of you guys that are starting to run your own business or have recently started running your own business, uh, this is a crucial time. Uh, 2021 is going to bring massive expansion in regards to financial freedom for you guys. So very positive outlook. All right, my lovelies, so let's get into your tarot readings. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Spirits, please give me Taurus um, 12 cards to represent all 12 months for the for the year of 2021. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and just rising. <laughs> Not Venus. Those of you guys that are going to be greatly affected if Taurus is in your sun, uh, moon, or rising. Okay, spirits. Please show me 12 sets of cards to represent all 12 months. 2021 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. So again, like I said, a definitely empowering type of energy for you, Taurus. So really put in that hard work. Uh, don't lose focus. I, I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going to be feeling like you're extremely busy or like you need to balance something. It could be balance your career, balance your uh, personal life. So balance is going to be very needed for you guys to remain focused for 2021. <clears throat> okay, let's see what is to come for you. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. <clears throat> All right. All right, Taurus, let's get into your reading. Now, for January, you have the Page of Swords here with the Strength card. Uh, you may be stalked or someone may have their eye on you. This could be a Leo type of energy. Uh, for others of you, this could almost represent you cutting ties or becoming more self-aware, becoming more like you're not shying off from confrontation in the month of January. And for some of you guys, uh, this could be directly in connection with a Leo type of energy. Now, the Page of Swords can also represent communication coming in rather quickly with the Strength card. Uh, a lot of barriers being removed for you guys. I feel that the past couple of years, you guys have really been tested. Uh, this could be in connection with relationships or in connection to business and your finances. 
but there is definitely a feeling here of being empowered <coughs> excuse me being empowered and being in your own like in your own power uh, putting your foot down in situations where you feel like maybe in the past you've suppressed or you've kept quiet or you've been silent about certain things. I feel you guys for the month of January being very vocal is what they're telling me and really standing your ground in certain issues. Uh, no more pushing around Taurus for sure. Now for the month of February here we have the King of Cups as well as the Six of Wands. There's some type of achievement, some type of uh, feeling victorious, feeling like you've overcame or you're going into the next cycle of your life. For some of you guys, this could be graduation. For others of you, this could be getting a lot of acolytes, uh, getting a lot of support. Um, others of you, this could even represent a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, that is really going to help you take your career or your business to the next level. This could be some type of partnership. This could be an individual that has been working close to you that has really high expectations from you and they will definitely let you know. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be internships as well. Now for the month of March, we have here the Five of Pentacles and the King of Wands. I see you guys really analyzing or internalizing a connection for some of you guys, this could be with a fire energy, like we said, with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius type of energy. I feel that you're starting to see things from a very different perspective. If this has been an ongoing, uh, like, go back, break up, go back, break up type of energy, I feel that you're no longer going to be dealing with that. You're no longer going to be dealing with people giving you their extra time. Uh, if they're not making you a priority, you're definitely not going to integrate them in your life anymore. And this is you walking away from that. This is you being uh, more confident in yourself and believing or knowing your worth. Uh, now, this doesn't necessarily have to be with relationships. This could be with friends, with relatives, uh, family members that perhaps have taken advantage of you or uh, really like to test you because they know that you have a good heart, Taurus, but uh, March is definitely an awakening month for you, and I feel that you're definitely not shying away from pulling your energy if people are just not attuned to your energy or they're not reciprocating uh, your love and devotion. Now, for the month of the month of April, here we have the Star card and the Queen of Wands. So, for some of you guys, this is a wish fulfillment. I see you guys going into a major endeavor in regards to your career finances. For some of you guys, this is you locking in a position or locking in um, some type of higher position, uh, higher authority type of uh, position in regards to your career. For others of you, this is actually if you are going through some type of graduation or uh, culmination of a study or something, I feel that for April, it's going to be very highlighted for you that you're getting the job you've been wanting or you're getting the opportunity uh, that you've been really working very hard towards. For others of you, this may be you uh, dealing with an Aquarian type of energy or some type of wish being fulfilled here. Uh, I feel that it's in relationship to uh, career and in relationship to finances. Um, but this is definitely, you know, if you can see here in the month of March, uh, this is the King of Wands and we have the Queen of Wands here. Uh, you go from feeling like people are not really reciprocating or taking uh, certain things for granted. You go into knowing your power, knowing your self-worth, and walking away from what's not working for you no more. This is cutting friendships, cutting relationships, not looking to the past anymore, but looking towards the future and what you're trying to build here. Uh, very positive, empowering type of energy for sure. Now, for the month of May... We have the Five of Wands and the Lover's card. Every time I see these two cards, it's almost like a tug of war of people trying to fight or trying to get your attention. If you are on a path of career and expansion, this could be uh, feeling like you have to make a choice between two different jobs, two different opportunities. For others of you, this could just be you starting to pull in a lot of people. You're getting a lot of mojo here uh, for the month of May for sure, where you're feeling like you have options, maybe options that you thought weren't there, uh, start to manifest people really coming towards you and vibrating towards you uh, and being pulled towards that. 
more than anything, um, this could represent, again, like I said, more than one person trying to fight to get your attention or to come towards you in regards to love and romance. Now, for the month of June, we have here the Ten of Swords and the Full Card. This, these two combos have been coming out for two different signs. I believe the first one was Sagittarius or Scorpio. I'm not sure. Um, or Sagittarius. Not sure. But anyways, you may want to connect if you are dealing with one of those signs. This may be a message for you guys. Now, for the month of... What was this? Um, April, May, June. Sorry. <laughs> So for June, you have the seven, uh, sorry, the nine of swords and the full card. This is cutting ties or cutting links to a situation where you keep going around. You guys have to remember that Saturn is a karma planet. So if there are certain lessons that you have to, that you find yourself, that you keep repeating, you're not learning those lessons and they're going to keep repeating perhaps through different people, but the same situation until you get it. And I feel that for this month of June, you're definitely getting it. You're no longer going to bite into people. And this could be exes coming back around, asking you for forgiveness or asking you to give them another opportunity. Uh, this could be friends. This could be ties that you no longer, like you severed, you're no longer dealing with. Uh, this could be those people coming back around in the month of June. And I see you like walking towards a new path, not wanting to revisit a situation or allow other people to give them the opportunity to let you down again. Um, like I said, this connection, these two cards have been coming out for certain signs uh, and in that combo. So there may be some connections there. You may be dealing with those signs as well. Now for the month of July, we have the Queen of Swords and the Two of Wands. For some of you guys, there is some type of... Um, there may be some travel coming up for you guys, and I feel that this is in connection with your finances or with your career. For others of you, you may be dealing with a air energy, Aquarian, Gemini, Libra type of energy that is from a distance. For some of you guys with, uh, with the five of wands there and the lovers, you may actually connect with someone that is from a distance where you feel like this connection can never move forward because there's so many miles uh, in between you two. And in the month of July, there is some type of opportunity that comes up where that person may be coming towards you or you may be going towards them uh, to meet or to connect or to take it to the next level. Now, for the month of July, sorry, August, we have the World card and the Justice card. These two cards are major arcana, so this is not going to be an everyday type of energy in the month of August, you're definitely going to feel like there is an elevation that's happening here. These are conclusions, endings. Travel is very highlighted again uh, for the month of July and August, as well as uh, starting something new. You may be dealing with the Libra energy, but I feel that more than anything, you're starting to feel more balanced in your life. You're starting to feel like all the hard work and determination you've been putting in, the universe is basically giving you in in tenfold and opportunities are linking up uh being able to present themselves to you in a way where it makes it much easier for you to go towards your goals and achievements for others of you what they're telling me here with this world card and the justice card is that if you felt at any point like you've been unlucky in love or you've been dealing with the situation and this could be a marriage that's coming through very strongly um, where you feel like you've been restricted or like you cannot salvage that relationship anymore. I feel that for the month of August, there's definitely going to be a, a, a cutting of link here. For some of you guys, this is you going through court. For others of you, this is actually filing for divorce. Um, but I definitely do see uh, you guys being able to take it to the next level in the sense of going towards a new cycle in your life, uh, no longer putting effort or sacrificing yourself to make someone else happy. Now, what we're dealing with for the month of September here is we have the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. I see a lot of expansion for you guys in regards to finances and career. Now, for the month... Um, 
for the month of September here. I feel that there's an opportunity that's coming in for you guys that it's going to bring you more coins. It's going to bring you more money. But it may require for you to put more effort or more energy towards it. Uh, this could be almost the situation, like I said, where you are working, as an example, a job that is from 9 to 5. But then you start to dab into other side jobs or other possibilities. And you're feeling like things start to go really good for you. Uh, and you feel like you don't have, like you're time restricted because you're wanting to do what you're passionate about, but you also have the responsibility of carrying another job or something. Um, around this time, what they're saying is there's almost like a, there's an aha moment that you're going to be having where you're going to be drawn back, take a step back to really analyze what it is that you want. And I feel for some of you guys, this is you jumping wholeheartedly into uh, making something happen. So this could be, again, if you're, you know, juggling two jobs or if you have a nine to five and you're also doing your own business, I feel that around this time, around September, you're making the decision to leave the nine to five to fully submerge yourself in your business because you're starting to see massive, exp you know, um, massive expansion here or you're starting to make the double of what you're getting paid on everyday basis at your regular job <clears throat> now for the month of october we have here the judgment card and the sun card so i feel that for some of you guys this is there's going to be a situation that arises that is very connected karmically to the past and i'm not talking about like these couple of years i'm talking about like 10 years or something, a situation that is coming up that you need to address about the past. This could be a behavior that you've dealt with. This could be um, something in connection with the father figure for some of you guys um, or father figures in general where they're, you're, you're coming to the understanding of some of the underlying fears that you've had or that you've been dealing with for many years stem from childhood. And this is you addressing those issues. Now, for others of you, uh, this could be, again, like I said, something that is connected to karma. But I feel that there is a person that's coming in. Uh, and that's if you have not already met this person in the previous months, as we did see love uh, surrounding you, where you're coming to the understanding that this is a deeper type of connection. This is a spiritual connection. This is a person that has been linked to you from past lives. Uh, this is almost like a soulmate type of connection or energy where there's going to be a decision that has to be made. For some of you guys, you are in a relationship already um, when this person comes around. For others of you, this could be a representation of having to choose between new love and old love. Um, so again, this is I feel that this has a lot to do with your destiny that's coming up for you in the month of October. Now, for the month of November, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is definitely a love offering that's coming through, a love offering that is balanced, someone that is going to be or willing to put as much effort and energy as you are in regards to relationships. This could be you guys actually making the decision uh, to collectively come together. This could be like moving in type of energy. Uh, what they're showing me as well is for some of you guys, this could be a representation of finding love at the workplace. This could be a person that has the same views as you, that is practicing in the same career, uh, that is pursuing the same dreams that you're pursuing. It's like finally you guys are being able to link and to connect and to have conversations on a much grander, deeper level that it's going to draw you guys in. It's going to draw you guys closer to each other. For others of you, this could be an offering that comes through in regards to finances partnerships is highlighted here so not just partnerships in love but partnerships in business <coughs> excuse me and finally we end the year 2021 with the knight of pentacles and the empress card the knight of pentacles it is the energy of a warrior a person that has gone through many difficulties and they have overcame it's been a very long journey it's been a long year for some of you guys with the Empress card, though, you're able to sit back and really see the fruits of your labor, feeling blessed, feeling bountiful, a lot of expansion here for some of you guys. This is growing within um, a property or owning property or ownership. Uh, for others of you, this could be a representation of 
just wanting to expand, wanting to grow, um, feeling very blessed more than anything. I, I feel that December is going to be a month of reflection for a lot of you guys uh, and being able to look to the past and seeing how far you have came. So very beautiful reading, Taurus. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely comment below. Let me know. Like, share, and comment this video so you guys can continue supporting our channel. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this video uh, so we can continue doing this every year at the end of the year, uh, preparing us to kickstart the new year. So I wish you guys the best. I love you guys. Light and love to all of you. And happy holidays. We'll see each other soon. Bye.